Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Learn. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get the latest notifications. So today we are going to start with the depository system and this is the part 1 of the video. One more part will be uploaded tomorrow. Okay. So in this video we will be discussing about what is depository system, then its features, objectives and mainly the two terms that is dematerialization and rematerialization. Okay. So let's start the video. Depository system. So what is the term depository means? It can be defined as a means of a central location for keeping securities on deposit. Okay. We can also say that depository is an institution which transfer the ownership of securities in electronic mode on behalf of its members or its clients. Okay. So a depository functions as a connection between the public company who issue their securities or shares. Uh, and the investors or shareholders. Okay, so we can say that the deposit system functions like a banking system. So how can we say that a deposit system functions like a banking system? As in a banking system, the bank will hold the deposit of its client. Similarly, the depository holds securities uh, in account for its client. So we can say that deposit system is similar to like a banking system. Okay. So now let's see the features of a deposit system. Okay, so first feature is that it is an organization. Second, we can say that it keeps the investor's security in safe custody. Third, we can say that these securities are kept in electronic form and not in physical form. Fourth is that it helps in transfer of ownership of securities in electronic form itself. Okay. And some other features is that it transfers the securities between accounts only on the instruction of a account holder. And lastly, we can say this uh, deposit system leads the capital market towards scriptless system through immobilization and dematerialization of the certificates. Okay, so these are the features of a deposit system. Now we can see what are the objectives of the deposit system. So the first objective is that it reduces the transfer time of securities. Okay, suppose uh, the securities were in a physical form, the transfer will take a longer time. Okay, that is we have to post the securities and the other one will have to get it. So it takes a time, but uh, in electronic form, it reduces the time. Okay, time of transfer of securities. Second objective is that it reduces the cost of transfer for the investor. And third one is that it promotes the country's competitiveness by uh, complying with the global standard. That is in almost all over the world, the stock exchange, it is going to be scriptless economy. That is every security is in the form of a dematerialized form, in electronic form. So uh, it uh, promotes the country's competitiveness by complying to the global standard. Next we can say that it avoids the risk of settlement of securities and uh, also enhance the liquidity and efficiency as it is in an electronic form we can sell it uh, more easily okay so it enhances the liquidity and efficiency then we can say that it creates a system uh, for handling securities in an electronic form and lastly we can say it provides service infrastructure in a capital market okay so these are the main objectives of a, a depository system so i hope it's clear to you all okay and if you have any doubt you can just comment it down in the comment section and i will be taking it okay so can we just move to the next topic so next we can uh, learn the term dematerialization so what is dematerialization uh, in simple words we can say it is the process of converting the physical share certificate and dependencies in an electronic form Okay, and once these certificates are dematerialized, it will be in a DMAT account. So, why are we converting the physical share or securities into an electronic form? First thing that it gives a smooth, transparent and straightforward trading. Second is that it is very easy and comprehensive. Third, we can say it only requires a minimum maintenance charge. As we all know, it is very easy for us to uh, and convenient for us to use a electronic form security rather than a physical form security. Okay, so that is why all people started to convert uh, the physical securities and share certificates into a electronic form. Okay, so uh, now let's see what are the benefits of dematerialization. 
let's see the benefits of dematerialization okay so as given in the chart the first benefit of this dematerialization is quick transfer okay that is uh, we can transfer our securities to other person uh, the transfer the ownership of our security to other person very quickly so first one is quick transfer second we can say the benefit is easy and convenient as always uh, the securities in a electronic form is more easy and convenient rather than a security in a physical form okay then we can say it reduce the transaction cost so these are the three main benefits of dematerialization so first benefit is it lead to quick transfer second we can say it is easy and convenient and third is receive uh, reduced transaction cost okay so let's uh, next see the process of dematerialization okay i hope this chart is clear to you all so let's uh, see the process of dematerialization so first step is to open a dmat account that is the investor should first open a dmat account and then he should fill up a drf drf is dmat request form okay so we have to fill up a dematerialization request form and then this drf will be given for uh, verification and this will be done by the depository participant that is dp okay so after the dp that is depository participant verify our files he will uh, make a request for dematerialization to the company okay so the next step is the company will verify this uh, request and see our files and then approves for dematerialization once the company give approve for dematerialization then the uh, share certificate will be credited in our dmat account okay so this is the process of dematerialization so first we have to uh, open a dmat account then we have to fill up the drf then this drf will be verified by depository participant and after verification depository participant will request for dematerialization to the company then the company will verify this request as well as the form field then the will company will approve and once the company approves the share will be credited to our dmat account so this is a simple process of dematerialization okay so i hope everything is clear by, by path so now let's move on to the next the next term is rematerialization so what is rematerialization is just the opposite of dematerialization that is it is a process of getting the securities in electronic form converted back to physical form okay so the investor can rematerialize his shares by filling remat request form as i said earlier for getting a, a dematerialization we are filling up drf that is dmat request form and now we are filling up a for rematerialization we will be filling r rf that is remat request form okay so now let's see the process of rematerialization so first the investor will request for rematerialization okay so i have a security which is in the electronic form and i have to convert it back to physical form that is why i am going for rematerialization so first the uh, investor or uh, the investor will request for rematerialization then the dp will intimate the depository of the request through the system and after that the depository confirms the rematerialization request to the registrar and registrar update the account and print certificate okay and the depository updates account and download the details to the depository participant and the registrar dispatches the certificate to the investor so these are the process of rematerialization so first we have to apply for rematerialization by filling up a rrf that is remat request form okay then after that the dp that is depository participant will be intimating our request and the depository confirms that we have requested for a rematerialization after that the registrar will update the account and print the certificate and will inform the depository and download and give the details to the uh, depository participant and once the after this the registrar will dispatch the certificate to the investors okay so this is a simple process of rematerialization okay so that's all for today so we discussed what is a deposit system then we discussed its uh, objectives then also we discussed about dematerialization the process of dematerialization and uh, then we went for rematerialization and the process of the rematerialization okay so i hope it's 
clear to you all and uh, if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and share it to all your commerce friends and please give your precious feedback in the comment section and if you have not subscribed to let's learn please subscribe and click the bell icon to get the latest notification as i'm uploading a commerce video on a daily basis okay and uh, there is a telegram channel and the link is given in the description box you can join it to get the pdf and uh, to post your doubts okay so for more commerce videos keep watching let's learn thank you